They are trying to shoot us again, they are bad. They shot at us yesterday, they want to do the same thing today. Guys, meet VDM the junior, he's today with us at Moshud Abiola Stadium for the day two protests in Abuja. Yes, VDM junior, what is the meaning of this your costume you are putting on today? Well, these things are for ready made for, for this entire guys. This and this. If this one don't work, this one will work. And Tinibu is a Ujuju. And before he first in Ujuju, he need to match his energy. And that is what I'm doing. I want to face Tinibu energy. I want to match his energy. And for the police, they should mind their business. They are here to protect us. If they want peaceful protest, they should respect themselves and let's do peaceful protest. We are not thieves. We are not out. We came out to do peaceful protest. So they should leave us to do our thing. Thank you. We will scatter this thing for us and we will not achieve our goal. And that is not why we are here. We are here to talk to the government so they should allow us to talk to the government. Please and please, Sinibu, come outside and address us. We are waiting for you. We have been waiting for you since yesterday. You did not speak. And this thing is getting out of hand. It's affecting some people. Some, people, some business people are losing their property. So do well to come outside before this thing will get to another thing. Because as long as we are concerned, if you don't answer us, this protest will continue. We don't care if we lose our life outside here. But we, are, we want to secure our future. We must make sure we secure our future. A common Nigeria have its own rights in this country. Because the way we speak like this, as we speak like this now, the, the constitution only affects the common Nigeria. But the people in power, nothing is their business. And our emphasis on that based on Yaya Bello. EFCC are supposed to hold him. They are supposed to hold Yaya Bello, but they did not hold him. They will tell us the reason why they did not hold him. Enough is enough. End bad government. For, for two reasons, my own, I came with two reasons, for corruption and for the hardship. Enough is enough, don't play. The government will learn if they don't come outside. Address your Sinibu, address us. Thank you. This criminal are targeting us every day. We want Nigeria that work. I just have a child. I just have a child about three months ago. What am I going to tell that child? What am I going to tell that child? I will tell the child that, see, this is, this is Nigeria that we build. This is Nigeria that we are home for. No. Well, well. We want this country to work. Bola, President Bola, I mean, should make Nigeria work. I, I that is what you are saying. I understand. Thank you. But uh, I just want to ask you, we, we should be able to rob mines and get things to uh, in order. This is GTV Africa, and I'm just telling you, and uh, I want to ask you, is the only president that should make Nigeria work? What happens to the governors? What happens to other people that are elected in different angles? What is your view? Thank you very much. The power starts from the governor. The governor, the, the president, the, the power starts from the president. He did something very, 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 uh, you know, very, very outstanding recently. That they have given all the uh, autonomy to all the local government, right? That is a good beginning of a good government. He has started well. We love that. But we are talking about something that is very important. A gov governor cannot do it. We only call the governor of Nigeria chief security officer, but they are nothing. They are not chief security officer of every state. You know that the federal government control the armed forces. We all know that. Now, we want a, we want power to be decentralized. Let the government be able to control the power in their state. Let the government begin to, you know, to have power over the security matter in their state. So from there, we can know where the insecurity is coming from. Although we have seen that the government are trying in so many areas, we cannot, we cannot, we cannot neglect that area. But we are talking about the reality here. Nigeria no longer safe. We want a safe nation. So we want the governor, the president himself, to look at it very critically. That you have started well, but look, if you did not continue in the right way, the Nigeria will continue to come out to protest against your against your presidency. So that is what you are saying. What is your name? My name is my name is Shaibu Yahya from Paduna. Zaria, serving the local government. Me, the only thing that I want in Nigeria to remove corruption. Because of this corruption, up to now, I never get my job that I want. I want to become a Nigerian army. Since 80, I apply Nigerian army, up to now, because of corruption, I never become a soldier. I want to become a soldier. Because of this corruption, I never get. Since 80, regular recruitment intake, I apply Nigerian army, up to now, I never get. This is only one thing that I want. 
if you apply in Nigerian Army first time, second time, I apply in Nigerian Army at least. This is seven times. This is eighty-seven. Since eighty, I applied. This is the only one thing that I know. I want. Please, Sam, please help us to get this job. Yeah, today I don't know those who survived in the midst of that push, and uh, we escaped around that almost eight o'clock last night. That was where person like me I was able to escape from the push. What is our sin? Our sins are simple. We said that a government must be accountable to the people. Absolutely. Listen, what? Why are we crying on the streets? A good father, a good parent, listen to their children. When we cried in the room, when we cried in the room, that daddy, mommy, we are hungry. They decided to make deaf ear to our cry. Now we are crying in the compound. They are said that we are disgracing them. Oh, I must give one honor to one governor in this country. The River State Governor who came to identify with these people. But we have a man who left rivers to Abuja. He has showed us his true color of leadership. May God bless Atiku Abubakar. May God bless Tabua, who stood on their ground to make sure that a criminal could not get pity pity again to force himself into the government house. This is what we would have got. This is exactly what we would have got. If Nigerian citizens can be attacked, I wonder what would have happened. Fellow Nigeria, I want you to stand on your right. I keep on fighting for this truth, but we shun violence. Please, while you are protesting, shun violence. Stop vandalism, and God will bless us. Against us. These same people are the people that are supposed to protect us, not to kill us. Same people we are protesting for. The police people. How much do you receive as a salary? How much does it take to feed five children in this country with seven? We are protesting for you. We are protesting for us. We are protesting for the future. We are protesting for our children. We are protesting for the better generation. And we are being killed. We are being bombarded with tear gas. That is not nice. I am appealing not just to the federal government. I am appealing to the SS. I am appealing to the Nigerian police force. I am appealing to every single person. Every bonded shoe. Help us here. Thank you. And he called us good luck. That the protesters are good luck. Um, I completely disagree with that position. But here is another view to this whole case. The Nigerian president. The Nigerian president needs to come out and address the Nigerian people. Where is all this problem coming from? And the question is, why did he, from the one, implement those policies of the IMF and the World Bank? This is not just happening in Nigeria. This is a problem happening in Africa and in the global south because America, the IMF, the World Bank are targeting countries like Nigeria to weaken our economies because they can't compete with China. So what they are doing is that they are targeting countries like Nigeria to weaken our economy, to weaken the Naira so they can have access to our cheap, have cheap access to our resources. And it seems to me that this president is doing the bidding of the West. This is the main problem. And anytime we uh, governments come to power, we keep seeing them going to London, going to France and taking instruction from them. Why did the president of Nigeria, Bala Ahmed Tinubu, from the one, from the one, remove subsidies? Why did he flood the Naira? All of this we need to ask questions and the president needs to come out and tell us who he's working for. Is he working for the Nigerian people or is he work, working against the interests of the Nigerian people? And this is my question to all of you. Is the Nigerian president really working for the Nigerian people? No! Is Bola Ahmed Tinubu really working for the Nigerian people? No! Is he representing our interests? No! So if he's working against the interests of the Nigerian people, then we have a problem. And this is why these guys are so scared. They are seeing all of this happening in Nigeria. You are seeing exactly the same thing happening in Kenya. The Kenyan president, William Ruto, went to America and one month after he came back, Protests started on the streets of Kenya. Why? Because the IMF, the World Bank, these are the vultures that are targeting the economies of countries like Nigeria, countries in the global south. Look at what is going on in Bangladesh. It's exactly the same thing. So the president is hiding because he cannot call out the names of the people he's working for. 
This government is not representing the Nigerian people. This government is working against the interests of the Nigerian people. Yes, yes. They are implementing austerities to punish the Nigerian people. Yes. They are weakening the Naira because they want access to our, to our resources. And it's not just oil. The situation in the north, most of us look at each other and say, oh, it's about religion. It's about Fulanis versus houses. That is not the problem. The gold, the diamond they are taking from the northern part of Nigeria is going to the west. And this is why we are having insecurity in the West. All of this, we need to address it. This is why we need to tell the truth to power. The main enemy of Nigeria is the leaders in power that are working against the interests of the Nigerian people, serving their masters in Washington, serving their masters in France, and this is the problem. Thank you very much. I want to say, police is not our friend. They should stop saying that. And for Wike, he's telling, he's telling the police to shoot us because we are animals. Because Wike gave them the order to shoot. And they are doing it. That is what they have been doing since the first day of this protest. And if the youth react now, they will start calling us down as usual. Because that is what they have been doing. Before the protest, they started calling us down. And now they are still calling us down. They, make, they, want, to, they, want, to, they want to provoke the anger in us. So that they will keep calling us down. But that is, how, that is not why we are here. They cannot distract us. The government must answer us. The president must answer us. Because as he stands like this, Mr. President is not capable of becoming the president. Because if he cannot come outside to address Nigerians, if he cannot come outside to address us, he's not capable of being the president. For two days now, his country is turning up, falling apart. He cannot come outside to address us. This is the third day. And nothing, we have not heard for him. They are only teaching us how to protest. Is that why we are here? We are not here to protest. We don't want to learn how to protest. We want to, we want the country to work for everybody. This country now, the only thing, the thing that is happening is that the constitution is only against the common man. The people in power, the constitution is not against them. They are here bailing no money from the government. And now, he has responded. No, I have to, I have to say my mind. Yaya Bello stole money from the government. They did not hold him responsible. But if it is normal street boy, they will hold him. I will, I will emphasize on that because the EFCC must hold Yaya Bello too. Because when we are done with the government, we will come for EFCC. That is what we will do. We will come for EFCC. Thank you. I don't play. Greatest Nigerian people.